So now that we know how to define a function and use a function from the command line in MATLAB, we can now extend on the MATLAB workspace that you would have heard me talk about in previous screencasts. In particular, I would like to make some additional points on the private workspace of functions um, as well as variable scope. So this is the same function named forcecalc that we created earlier with the input mass array and the output force array. Additionally, I've inserted some breakpoints uh, as well as another display function at the end of forcecalc just just so I can uh, insert this break on the line on this line for the purpose of demonstrating the private workspace to you. So now we'll just go back to the MATLAB command window here and notice here we have an empty workspace. So we'll just dive straight into it. We'll just create uh, an array which will be used um, as inputs for our force calc. Sorry. Um, so we'll just enter three random values here. Okay. So we can s now see the M variable that was just created uh, is sitting here in the default MATLAB workspace. Now I'll just for the purpose of running the function, I'll just assign it the f the output of the our force calc function to a random variable f, and passing m in as an input. So once I run this function, you'll see that the force calc will have its own private workspace, which is completely separate from the default MATLAB workspace. And in order to see this private workspace, that's why I have these breakpoints set up. So I'll just run this function. Now we can see here that the first few lines of the function have been executed and we have our force array which was constructed from our input that we passed to the function. We can tell that we're in debug mode as well because there's a little k here. Okay, so notice how the input variable we used was m, but now the MATLAB workspace is using the input variable name mass. So this actually indicates that we've moved inside of the private workspace of the function. And it also means that uh, the variables of the function are local to that function and cannot be accessed anywhere outside of it, uh, such as the default workspace. Or if we had another function running that was different to force calc, this function would not be able to access the variables either. So now we'll just go back to our editor and step through this function just once. And now we can see that since where our for loop iterates through the force array, the variable n, which is defined in our function, um, has taken the first value of the force array. As I said, we're, we're iterating through the force array, and I step through once. So now I'll just click continue and the for loop has been has iterated through the force array and its associated code has been executed and now we've exited this loop and we're at the end of the function so we'll just check our output so everything there seems to be in order we're receiving expected results um so what we can expect is that now the function is finished it has to go back to the workspace that called the function originally and in this case is just the default MATLAB workspace as we called the function from the command line so now if I just continue past this line let's see what happens okay 
So as you can see, we've gone back to the default workspace and we can see the M and F variables that we created in the command line and their associated values. So just to reiterate, the variables inside the private workspace of each function are only accessible by that function, which is a good thing so that important variables cannot be overwritten or interfered with by other workspaces. However, if you wish to use some similar variables throughout multiple functions uh, that you're writing, you need to make sure each variable is defined within that function or otherwise passed in that function as an input. So what I mean by this is if you wish to use a variable, uh, for example, force in a function, then this variable must be defined within that function because if it weren't defined in the private workspace of the function then it would not not exist and therefore MATLAB would produce an error if you were trying to execute that function.